Hello and welcome. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, has been dismissed from office after losing a vote of no confidence. The country's parliament finally held the ballot tonight after the ruling party delayed it for 13 hours. This is the moment the Speaker of the House announced the result. 174 members have recorded their votes in favor of the resolution. Consequently, the resolution for vote of no confidence against Mr. Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, has been passed by a majority of the total membership of the National Assembly. Our Pakistan correspondent Sekunder Kamani has been following events in Islamabad. It has been a day and night of intense political drama. It's now past 2 a.m. in the morning here and Parliament is still in session. Supporters of the opposition or what used to be the opposition have been celebrating. You can perhaps hear them in the background. For a while it looked as if this vote of no confidence against Imran Khan would not happen, as if his party would block it from taking place for a second time despite an order from the Supreme Court. But instead, after a day of delays in Parliament, of meandering speeches by Imran Khan's allies, uh, shortly before midnight, MPs from Imran Khan's party walked out of Parliament and a new Speaker uh, in, of the House uh, said that the voting would start. And once it was clear that the voting was going to begin, well, the result was a foregone conclusion. And that's because a number of Imran Khan's political uh, coalition allies, I should say, had already publicly deserted him, giving the opposition the majority in Parliament. They will now get to select and nominate their own uh, candidate as Prime Minister. That will happen in the next day or two, really. Uh, but he will face real challenges in government, not least from Imran Khan, because Imran Khan is still insisting that he's the victim of an international conspiracy orchestrated by the United States in conjunction with his domestic political opponents uh, because of his foreign policy decisions, including a recent trip to Russia. Now, most analysts dismiss that. American officials and his political opponents have denied there's any truth to the allegation. But it is a narrative that's resonating with Imran Khan's voters. He said he's not going to accept any kind of imported government. He's called for his supporters to take to the streets and peaceful protest from Sunday evening. Sekunda Kermani reporting from Islamabad there. Let's get some reaction now and we can hear from...